To determine whether K2SO3 is acetic, basic, or neutral in water, this is potassium sulfite, we'll use these rules here. So before we use the rules, we need to know the equation that produces this potassium sulfite. So it's a neutralization reaction. We have a base, potassium hydroxide, plus sulfurous acid. That makes our K2SO3 and H2O, since it's a neutralization reaction. So we have our neutralization reaction. Now we need to know the strength of the base and the acid in order to use the rules. So KOH, that's right here. And KOH, potassium hydroxide, that's a strong base. So let's write SB. On our list of strong acids, I'm looking for H2SO3. There's H2SO4, but I don't see H2SO3 here. So if it's not on the list, that's going to be a weak base. So we know the strength of the base and the acid. Now we can figure out whether K2SO3 is acetic, basic, or neutral in water. So let's see, we're looking for a strong base and a weak acid. Strong base, strong. Here's a strong base and a weak acid. It says, according to the rules, the pH will be greater than 7. We'll have an alkaline or basic solution. So according to the rules, K2SO3 in water forms a basic solution. The pH will be greater than 7. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.